Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're asking the age-old question, which three-color deck is best in CEDH? Today, turn order and decks were assigned to each player by our $100 patron, Baby Jeebus. I would like Nate to go first in turn order, because he doesn't know how to mulligan and he never has a turn one play, <laughs> so I feel like I'm gonna help a brother out. All right. <laughs> Uh, I play Kess and I want Kess to win, so Cam, I am going to give you Kess to play. Hell yeah, yeah. all right. And this video is officially brought to you by our sponsor, Dragon Shield. Check out our affiliate link in the description to help support the show and Dragon Shield because their sleeves are awesome. So we have Nate on Elsha top to infinity and beyond. Cam's playing my Kess control list. Tyler's playing Tivit, Cat, and Sphinx, and I'm playing Rocco. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> I have a pregame effect. I have a gemstone caverns and I will exile Squee. Put a luck counter on it. Draw. I will play my land for turn, training center, mana crypt to a talisman. Go ahead. I pass I, I'll draw. I will play a flooded strand. I will cast a lotus petal. Pass the turn. Draw card. Bountiful promenade. Cast a mox diamond. Discarding verdant catacombs. And I will cast Archon of Emeria. You are a shithead. I am having a great time. In response, I'd like to crack flooded strand. I'm just going to get a land and pass priority then. All right, pass turn. I will draw for turn. I'm going to play an exotic orchard that will enter tapped, and I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will wolf crypt my up. That's a one. So I aired mace for my land for turn. I'll cast a grinding station, and I'll pass turn. I think I'm just going to draw. We'll play Vernon Catacombs tapped, pass turn. Untap, draw card. I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to attack Cam for two, and I'm going to cast Sylvan Library. Pass turn. Untap. Play Godless Shrine, cast a Soul Ring, that would have been better turn one, and I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, I will draw, I'll crack. Aaron Mesa, I'm gonna cast Chromox, exiling March of the Swirling Mist. Go ahead, yeah. That's Did you roll for Crypt this turn? No, Jesus Christ. Because I keep forgetting. Pass turn. At the end of your turn, I'm gonna crack Lotus Petal for a blue. I'm going to unsubstantiate the Archon of Amiria. I have no response. In your upkeep. On my upkeep? You scared me. I'm gonna cast Silence. Okay. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm too afraid of knowing what you could do without a uh, rule of law in the field, especially if you need it gone. So I have to just kind of fire this off as a precaution. Well, lucky for you, I did need that out so that I could win the game, and now I can't win the game. So there goes my next turn to win. I'll draw. We'll play Arid Mesa. I'm going to crack these two right now. Go get the rest of your duels, and then I'll pass. I have a Sylvan Library trigger. I'll take eight. Cast Archon of Amiria. That's it, pass turn. All right, untap, draw for turn. I'm going to play a Misty Reinforced, which I just tapped. Very upset. Cast a Dranith Magistrate. Ooh, a Dranith Magistrate? I need you to remember that this stops food chain completely. That's all I got, pass the turn. Roll for Crypt. Safe. Now we wait. Go ahead. All right, I will draw. Gemstone Caverns enters tapped. Cast a Dockside Extortionist. I have seven, and I can't play any other spells, so I will pass. Untap, upkeep, Sylvan Library. I'll take another eight. Exotic Orchard as my land for turn. Cast Esper Sentinel. I will go to combat and Cameron. Cam, I'll attack you for two. Take two. Pass turn. Untapped. Draw for turn. I'm going to play a Mana Confluence that will enter tapped. Pay three, paying one extra for Esper Sentinel and cast a Demonic Shooter. Force of Negation, Exiling Windfall. Hmm. Esper Sentinel trigger. I'll pay for Esper Sentinel. Sure. So this Force of Negation on the Demonic Tutor, I actually think was really smart, but uh, we're going to talk about it in a second when it's relevant, so hold on. Move to combat. Dylan, I'm going to attack you for one. I say nothing. Take one. I mean, you would have cast up if you had it, but I'm still just going to crack Misty right now. I'm going to get an Underground Sea. You're good to go then. Start rolling for Crypt. Draw for turn. I'm going to cast Lion's Eye Dime. That's Percentile Trigger. Pay the one. Pass. End of turn. Pay five mana. Cast Ad Nauseum. As percent, I'll trigger. You may draw. I pass priority. I got nothing. Yep. So yeah, that force of negation on the demonic tutor, had you not done that, you can't use that force to back up your ad nauseum because there's the Archon of Miriam in play, but the demonic tutor could have and probably would have found some type of interaction because I'm sure Tyler would have sniffed out that your seven treasures meant that something was coming soon. So he could have found some interaction. So that mixed with Nate casting the lion's eye demon on his turn, not allowing him to be able to use counter magic on your ad nauseum, like worked out perfectly for you here. Let's do this. Is any is anyone else's heart beating completely out of their chest? You gotta find that. You removal. have to find something to bounce Archon, apparently. I 
I didn't really do the math, but I'm pretty sure you, you can win. <laughs> I didn't really do the math either, but I'm pretty sure I can win too. I'm gonna do one more. Jeweled Lotus. That doesn't help. I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do one more. Shit. I'm gonna do one, and then I... One more. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. All right, draw for turn. The question is, is he pointing chain at Dockside and then copying it, or at Archon? <laughs> Probably docs, I mean. Because I have nothing else in place, so there's nothing that's gonna happen with Chain of Vapor that's gonna mess me up to the point where it's not good. I'm gonna cast Chain of Vapor targeting my Dockside Extortionist. I have an Esper Sentinel trigger. I'll pay for Esper Sentinel, because that's the only time that's gonna come up. What happens if I cast Swords to Plowshare on the Dockside in response? Mm. Then Chain Fizzles? That's good, right? That is pretty good, yeah. Boy. I'm, I'm glad, glad you talked I did not know he had that. I'm glad you talked him into that. But yeah. I'll play a land. It's okay, because I'll pay uh, four mana, and I'm going to Ottawara the Archon uh, from here. All right. That was the remaining card. Yeah, I can cast Mox of, Mox of Diamonds, <laughs> discarding this Fiery Islet. I can cast Lion's Eye Diamonds. I'm going to cast Mana Crypt. I'm going to cast Jeweled Lotus. And cast the Dark Ritual. I'm going to cast a Mental Misstep that I thought was going to do something to Chain of Vapor. I have an s percent trigger. You can draw. I don't give a shit. We're dead anyway. I will mental misstep in return. Sure. I'm going to miscast Dark Ritual. I have an S percent on sugar. You can draw. I think it's worth just trying to get rid of people's interaction now. So I'm going to cast a Pact of Negation on the miscast. Good with me. Good with me. I'm going to cast Pyroblast targeting Cameron's mental misstep. I'm going to dispel this Pyroblast. Fluster Storm. You fucking had oh it Oh my all. god. Oh, oh Jesus boy. Christ. They're all gone in Dark Ritual. Wow, what a bummer. All right, yeah, I'm gonna let this stack resolve. So Fluster Storm counters Dark Ritual. Dispel counters Pyroblast. Force of Negation counters the Miscast, so I'll have Pact to worry Pact about negation. that. Pack yeah. Negation, yeah. So Miscast is gone, and then Mental Misstep counters Mental Misstep. All right, well, at least I got the feeling of all of my spells resolving, except for that one. Tap this for two and use one of it for a Soul Ring. Okay, I think I can still do this. So if I cast Chrome Mox, I can exile Divining Witch underneath it. I can pay a black one and two life to cast this member on the Dranith Magistrate. No response. Dranith Magistrate is dead. Two mana with Soul Ring to cast a Talisman of Creativity. I can pay one life for a red mana to cast Gamble. This one. Okay, what is oh. it? Ancient Tomb. I'll cast Mox Opal. This is one of the harder ad nauseum comebacks I've ever had to go through. I think I might still have this so long as Dylan doesn't surprise me and like, look, 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 look at him over there. He is endurance or some shit. <laughs> Demonic Consultation. And in response, I'm gonna crack Lion's Eye Diamond for three red, discarding my hand. I'm gonna stack the, the grinding station itself. Okay, so I'll mill three, Force of Will, Swamp and Forbidden Orchard. Demonic Consultation, I'll name Underworld Breach. One, two, three, four, five, six, nice. So this is exiled, and then we're gonna exile. Uh, Brain Freeze is exiled, okay. There's still Lab Man. There's, all right, there's no more, there's still, Prater, no, there's no more Prater's Grasp. No, Prater's Grasp is, is in my graveyard. There it is, okay. Cast an Underworld Breach. Exile three cards from my graveyard. Cast LED. Oh boy, have I been waiting. I have a response. I'll tap two mana, and I'm going to channel this Besaju who endures, targeting Underworld Breach to destroy it. Wow. All right, well, I guess that's it. Okay, yeah, this is dead. I don't have a land. I'll cast Cast. I'll leave up some blue. I'll cast a Brainstorm from my graveyard with Cast. Draw three. Put back to. I'll use the last blue for a thought scour. We're monolith and Pluto Delta. Pass turn. I'm really sorry, baby Jeebus. I tried really hard and did everything that I could, but I could not get there this turn. Untap, go to my turn. Sylvan Library. Keep one additional card. Cast a Jeweled Lotus. Crack for three red. Cast Rocco, X equals two. I'll find Dockside Extortionist. Dockside trigger? 11. Make 11 treasures. Play a Gaia's Cradle as my land for turn. I'll make three mana and tap this Bountiful Promenade for four and put Teamer Sabretooth onto the stack. No response. No responses. Yeah. Activate Teamer Sabretooth to return Dockside Extortionist to my hand to give Teamer Sabretooth Indestructible until end of turn. Indestructible. <laughs>
<laughs> Shit, how do we how do we beat an indestructible 4-3? <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna spend two treasures and I'm gonna cast Dockside Extortionist. I'll make many more treasures. I'll make a billion treasures. I'll make 420 billion treasures by repeating this loop. I'm gonna use some of my billion treasures to bounce Rocco to my hands. I'm gonna cast Rocco for X equals A number, and I'm gonna bounce it with Teamer Sabretooth until I have all of my creatures in play. Grand Abolisher is in play. I'm gonna find all, all the creatures in my deck, including Kiki Jiki and Felidar Guardian. Yeah. And I will tap Kiki Jiki to make a copy of Felidar Guardian. When the Felidar comes in, I'll have it exile and return Kiki Jiki. Make a billion Felidar Guardian cats. And then I will attack you all with my billions of cats. Yeah, I like cats. Good game. <laughs> Man, why do I ever not play Kiki Dex? It's kind of crazy that after all of that, you were still very close to presenting a win. Like, that was so many pieces of interaction that you were able to fight through. And the last one being Besaidu, not only, like, impossible to deal with, but after all that you had already dealt with. That is pretty nuts. I know. If it was literally anything besides a channel ability, I totally could have dealt with it. But sometimes they just have it. Rocco is really such a powerful deck. Being able to find so many silver bullets at any time i can go for a win i can go for more stacks pieces i really like this deck yeah it is super cool i'm glad that i built it and this is my list so it kind of feels like it's a little moral victory for me too i know and the cast list is my list so the fact that you were so close to winning still makes me feel good that list is powerful enough that i got really close to making a win thank you so much for watching if you'd like to support us directly you can do so at patreon like our 100 dollars patrons Baby G Bus and Demon of Rosgreaves. If you want to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. Once again, a humongous shout out to Dragon Shield for supporting the show. Make sure that you use the Play to Win affiliate link down below whenever you order from them to help support the show. You can follow us on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Look these motherfucking $50 patrons. Mitchell Shepard, Justin, Eli Rich D, Man Solo, Nicola Marikovic, Steven Schlick D, Big TP15, That Green Guy, Blanton Jackson, Isaiah Berliski, Michael Lyon, Pedro, Meadow Plays Games, Byron Wayne, Wind Wave C, Kawaja A. Hamid, Jacob Dapp, CZ, Michael Baloo, Jan Wild Fang, Sleepy Jarvis, Thomas Bueno, Swampy McGee, Lauren Connell, David Nelson, George, Mags. James Noon, eight, eight four, four five. five. My list is called "Can You Smell What the Rock Is Cooking." Yes. Um, That's really good. Thanks, right? <laughs> 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 I thought it was Chat great. <laughs>